Hi, and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com coming to you with another chapter from this wonderful book Find and Use Your Inner Power by Emmett Fox, written in 1937. An old book, but some superb wisdom, and this short chapter with my commentary is called Thought is Destiny, and that's really what I believe as a talking therapist, a hypnotist. Thought is Destiny. You think and your thoughts materialise as experience, he says. And thus it is, all unknown to yourself as a rule, that you are actually weaving the pattern of your own destiny, here and now, by the way in which you allow yourself to think, day by day and all day long, he says. It's all together in your own hands. Nobody but yourself can keep you down. Nobody can improve your life. Nobody can create your difficulties or limitations. Not your parents, not your wives, nor husbands, nor employees, nor neighbours, nor poverty, nor ignorance, nor any power whatever can keep you out of your own when once you've learned how to think. He calls this the science of thought and the science of living. And he's a wise guy, this Emmett Fox. And it's what I've always said, that you are what you think about, that you become what you think about, what you focus on, what you put your attention on grows in your life. At the moment, presenting this in 2020, September, with the pandemic and society changing and the whole world changing, lots of uncertainty, we really have to focus our thoughts so that we can be the script writers producers and directors of our own lives through controlling our thinking. When you become a master of your mind and control your thoughts by using this supercomputer in your head, your mind, your brain, to work for you and not against you, then you will unlock your inner power and start to use it and not abuse it. Because the law works against you that if you think about what you don't want, you'll bring that into reality. So focus on what you want only think about what you want, witness your thinking, and you'll have a wonderful life. Check back for the next chapter from this wonderful book written in 1937, but it's so relevant today in 2020. Be powerful, enjoy your mind, God bless.